Hello everybody, it is Brian for GadgetUnit.com and in this classic video game gameplay video I'm taking a look at Jet Moto 2 for the original PlayStation. As for the release dates, this one came out on October, in October, of 1997 in North America. It came out in other regions a few months later in April of 98. This game also came out on PSN in 2008, which is kind of cool to see this game still make its way to newer consoles. Don't worry about the black bars around the video. We'll get better once the game actually starts. I have to use a different video plugin for this. Typically I would use the D3D plugin for video, but for this game it wouldn't load any levels unless I choose the OpenGL plugin. OpenGL2 plugin, actually. We'll choose the Mountain Dew guy from the single track. I think I'll do two for this video. First, we're going to do the roller coaster one, but I think I will do Neb uh, Nebulous as the second track. It's a really long, intense one, which should be interesting. Hopefully this works. All right, so we got to the loading screen, which is further than where I got before. And here we go. It's a pretty basic jet ski hovercraft type of game here. You just use X to speed up. You do have to watch out for your speed, otherwise you can fly off the track, as I almost did there. This game usually had background music. My ISO should have the audio tracks. Not sure why it's not playing music. The emulator also does support CD audio tracks, so I'm not sure why it's not working. But here we go. If we hold circle, we could use the grapple pole there to make sharper turns, which is nice to have. It's so that you don't fly off the track, but you can still fall off your jet ski thing there. And they're already going the other direction. And now we can turn around and start going the other way. Like so. <laughs> As you can tell, the physics are a little bit odd. At least compared to today's games. Like that's to be expected, I suppose. And there are only a total of four players for this. Currently working the first lap still. I keep going incredibly high and almost falling off the map. We have a loop here, which is kind of cool. Corkscrew, rather. And this time I definitely flew off the track, and we're going to go ahead and stop this one. <laughs> and we're going to go straight to the long, intense track called Nebulous. I'm kind of disappointed that the background audio isn't working. I might have to change audio plugins, but it's not that big of a deal. So let's go and choose Nebulous and... Oops. It was already selected on the... When it was already selecting the first track, all I had to do was go left one and it would pick the track that I actually wanted. Uh, I definitely don't want to do this one, so let's go and quit this one. And hopefully pick the right track this time. So one player, select this rider. I'm not worried about a rider bio. Single track, and now let's go to Nebulous, which is this one. Yep. Funny how the menu audio works, but the actual CD audio track of this game doesn't seem to do anything. Alright, so this map, or track, essentially takes place in heaven, I guess. That's what this is supposed to be. I'm somehow in first. Okay. Fortunately, if you do go high up in the air, you can hold square to slow down so that you don't actually fly off the track. They can totally bring this game to iPhone. I'm completely surprised that this hasn't made its way over. So we went from heaven, and now I guess we are in hell. The checkpoints are now made of fire. We have some lightning and thunder and stuff. This is going to be another long race. Oh. 
And we are definitely doing terrible. <laughs> Stop. Let's see if we can go backwards a little bit. No can do. Can we make it over that platform? Yep. Doing all right now. Highly doubt I'll be able to catch up to anybody unless they somehow fall off the track. back to hell after being in heaven again for a brief amount of time going over the platforms again looks like we might be going in the other direction now no this is a little bit different and I'm actually catching up to people which is nice if I happen to finish first I'll be pretty happy with this I'd love not to finish fourth and the audio is doing some crazy stuff right now I might have to stop this video if that doesn't stop. That is pretty terrible sounding. Okay, so going to the pause menu fixed it, which is good. And here we are, currently in third place, catching up to the second place person fairly quickly, I think. Not too far behind the leader either. Doing okay so far after the first lap, now that I've gotten used to the controls a little bit. Actually reminds me of a roller coaster map in Multi Theft Auto or something. And we are up to first right now, which is great. A couple seconds ahead, it looks like. And don't fall off the track again. Ah. Whoa. <laughs> okay, whatever that was about. I don't think that quality control quality control was really something that existed back in the mid and late 90s. When it comes to video games or pretty much any software, I imagine back in the day, oh, especially with Windows 95, that was filled with bugs. Although it did get worse with Windows ME. I think quality is more important nowadays than ever, which is good for pretty much everybody. So we're about halfway through with lap two. And that concludes this video. <laughs> That was a partial rage quit there, stopping midway through lap two out of three. That is it with my look at Jet Moto 2. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions about this or anything else, feel free to leave those down below in the comments area. But that is it with the video, so thanks a lot for watching and I'll talk to you all very soon.